I just uh, I just got an email from somebody. I get all these emails, like I told you, behind the scenes and stuff like that. Um, sometimes people don't post on the bulletin board. And uh, so this gentleman asks me a question. And I thought it was just such a great question. And I, I, had, I had thought about this idea from time to time. And I never had the uh, occasion to evolve the math or to, to really give it serious thought and, and study as to, um, you know, what, what implications are there with this thing. So let me tell you what this question is so you can see what I'm talking about. All right. It says, uh, hi, Frank. My customer is experiencing an on-press problem. We normally supply him with 067 plates, a very common plate, uh, and he mounts with 015 sticky back, 15,000 sticky back. That's also common. With normal paper stock or film, this works fine. Usually, it's around 0 .005 thickness or 5,000 inch thickness is what they normally print on. Now he is printing on stock that measures 0 .012, and he's crushing the plate. Uh, because of, uh, so the, this uh, 0 0.012, 0 0.005, so it's seven. The new material is seven thousandths of an inch thicker than what he normally runs on, and it's crushing his plates. All right. So question: He has to back off his gears far enough so so the, the gears. Uh, he's backing them out so far that he can't maintain register. So he's backing it. You know, the material's thicker, so he's backing it out, and he can't maintain register because everything's jiggling like this. All right, so he's got a geared press. Question, can we reduce sticky back thick thickness allow to, uh, enough to allow proper surface contact without affecting distortion beyond control? So now distortion comes into play, so I'm going to want to find out uh, how distortion might be affected by this. And could I remake plates using .045 using the original film and add build-up tape behind the plates without affecting distortion? Okay, I guess... Somebody else will get that. I guess... Um, uh, could I remake plates using .045 uh, original film and add build-up? Okay, so I guess maybe, maybe going to .045 would bring it to down and he wants to bring it up a little bit from that point using an 045 plate. So here's the questions, that was kind of messy, here's the questions. Is he using 067 plates now, 015 sticky back, normally prints on 005 thickness material, now he's printing on 012 material and it's crushing the plates. The, my friend wants to know, can I go to a thinner thick sticky back and see what happens without the distortion get, being uh, messed up. He also wants to know, can I use a 45 thousandths plate and build up appropriately. Uh, so we've got two, a two-part question there. All right. All right, so let's, in most math, most math problems, we're going to start off with uh, what the things that we know, okay? So let's just start over here. Uh, right now, we know that, we, that, that our plate is 067. 067, although later on, we're going to talk about the .045 plate, okay? All right, so right now, we're talking about an 067 plate. We're talking about tape that is 0 0.015 inches. And we may not use everything, but it's good to just be have that where we are, okay? Uh, we know that normally the normal thickness equals 0 0.005 inches, okay? And the, the new thickness, I'm going to call it new thick, equals 0 0.012 inches. Okay, are there any other knowns in this? The stocks and the plates. Okay, so we've got that for right now. And we know that we're going to talk, we're going to be working some with, with distortion. Distortion. Alright, so these are the things that we've got on our palette to work with. Alright, now if somebody is normally, uh, here's the first thing that occurs to me, if somebody is normally printing on a substrate, whatever thickness that is, it's normal 005, 005, 005, uh, and now he's looking at printing on 012, I'm just going to worry about the difference. 
They've been printing fine on the 015, and even if even if it would have been better that there was no that the stub tray was zero, let's say, and the plate would do perfect compression, we'll just say we're interested in the difference, how much they're increasing their impression by. Okay, so if we take uh, the difference between 005 and 012, you normally have it the other way, but it doesn't matter. You have a difference of 0 0.007 inches. Okay, so that's so, to make everything the same, we would ideally back away 0, 0, 0.007 inches, 0 0.007 inches, or 7 thousandths of an inch, and we'll have the same contact pressure. But it's not as simple as that, because when we back up the, um, when, we, when we do that, if we reduce the diameter of the, of the, the assembly of the plate cylinder and the sticky back and the, and the plate, it, it's not as simple as that. There's an optimal pitch diameter, I mean uh, printing diameter, so we have to consider what happens if we use less sticky back than we're normally supposed to do and we come down a little bit. So let, let's explore what happens there, okay? All right.